It's a journey into the unknown. The first ever time a remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, has been lowered into Western Europe's most hazardous industrial building. The team carefully inching down this mini-submarine called the Avexis into the liquor of the Magnox Swarf storage silo don't know if it will work in this hostile environment. The radioactive cocktail could fry its electronics. The jumble of waste could block its path or snare the lead which connects back to its controls. But the benefits of getting a pair of eyes inside the guts of this legacy storage facility to help prepare for emptying it and the potential to nudge and move small items of waste around could be massive, so it's worth taking the risk. The plan is for the Avexis to help us drop the level of liquor in the third extension of the silo by dislodging waste clinging to walls and helping install the equipment to pump the liquor out. This would be a real step forward in hazard reduction because less liquor means lower risk. Whilst the, most of the activity is in the waste, the, the activity that's in the, in the liquor cannot be ignored and it's the liquor that is the mobile activity part that we're mostly concerned about. So if there is a leak, most of the activity that would escape would be associated with liquor rather than the solid waste. So anything that we can do to significantly reduce the volume of highly active liquor or intermediate level active liquor that we're carrying in this facility will be a significant benefit. Well, the good thing with the third extension is we're not due to retrieve for a number of years. So we can get a head start on the waste reprofiling. So we've got time on our hands. If the ROVs can maneuver and pick and place one piece at a time, we can um, significantly reduce that risk of um, a crater collapse or reprofile the waste and get a head start for retrievals. As we see here at our test pond on the Sellafield site, it's been a five-year journey of planning, designing, manufacturing and trialling to get the Avexis in. While ROVs are increasingly used in the nuclear industry, they're usually much wider than the length of an iPhone, and the only way into the silo compartment is through a six-inch hole. So we set out to make our own, working with the University of Manchester initially. We then moved from laboratory to factory when the Cumbrian business Fourth Engineering could see its commercial potential. Nuclear facilities as far away as Fukushima have similar six-inch access problems. It was started by the Sellafield technical team who worked with Manchester University to develop it and now that's moved on for sort of commercialisation, the one you see today uh, from 4th Engineering at Maryport. So it's all stayed fairly local as well. So now it's an off-the-shelf piece of kit where Sellafield has helped build the shelf. We're training our own people to use it, as emptying the silo is a job which will take many years. As we're moving to reduce the risk, um, there's a lot more technologies coming on board, and this is a technology that I see being present in the future for a long time. So just get our hands on early doors, obviously. Hopefully we'll be able to use it in the future, and obviously I'll be a part of that as we move to retrieve the waste. Once again, this is another first for Sellafield where, together with our supply chain partners, we're exploring new frontiers for our nuclear expertise. I think it's testament to decommissioning learning around the Sellafield site that we are a lean and learn organisation. So we, we've, we've got extensive experience now of using ROVs in other facilities. We're building on that knowledge. We're not reinventing the wheel. We'll let those other people do the development work. We'll learn from them. We'll, we'll apply the technology here.